I want to share my experiences of comparing Indian culture with African culture. The differences I've noticed and why India has become a second home for many Africans just like me. Welcome back to my YouTube channel called Davis and Sheila Vlogs. For new subscribers, you are welcome. Continue pressing that like button, continue subscribing, and feel comfortable to share your thoughts with us. So guys, I am currently in India as a student. And today, coming from Kenya, I found Indian culture to be incredibly rich and diverse. One of the most striking difference is religion. In Kenya, Christianity and Islamic are the predominant religions in our country. However, in India, Hinduism is the major religion, followed by Islamic, then Christianity and there are other several religions existing here in India. This diversity of faith is reflected in the vibrant and colorful festivals celebrated throughout the year like Diwali, Holi, Eid and Christmas. These festivals bring people together in joyous celebration, something I found fascinating and heartwarming. Another significant difference is the traditional attire. In Kenya, traditional clothing varies among different tribes, with items like kanga and kitenge being among the popular ones. In India, the variety of traditional clothing is immense, with saris, dhotis, and turbans showcasing the country's cultural differences. The elaborate design and bright colors are a feast to the eye. In terms of daily life, the food is another big difference. Indian cuisine is known for its rich spices and variety, which was quite a shift from our staple food in Kenya. From the aromatic biryani to the spices, curries, and the delicious street foods like shawarma, panipuri, Indian food is an adventure for the test buds. The way people greet each other, their family structure, and even education system have their unique aspects. For instance, the concept of Namaste in India, which involves joining hands and bowing down slightly, it's a beautiful gesture of respect and humility. The strong emphasis of family ties and respect for elders is something to resonate with African values as well. India has become a home away from home for many Africans. Currently, there are approximately 25,000 to 30,000 Africans, students and professionals here in India. Countries like Nigeria, Tanzania, Uganda, Malawi, Zambia, Kenya are well represented here. This growing community of Africans in India has fostered a unique blend of culture and created a supportive network for newcomers. Why many Africans prefer India? Many Africans choose to come to India for several reasons. Number one being education. Indian universities offer quality education at a friction cost compared to African countries. Courses like medicine, engineering, and technology are especially popular for most African students. The education institutions here are re-owned for their rigorous curriculum and excellent faculty. Another thing is medical treatment. India is known for its advanced medical healthcare system and affordable medical treatments. Many Africans come to India for medical procedures that are either too expensive or unavailable in their home countries. The combination of the cutting-edge technology and the skilled doctors makes India a preferred destination for medical tourism. Another thing is lifestyle. The cost of living in India is generally lower compared to African countries, making it attractive destination for students and professionals just like me. From affordable houses to reasonable priced groceries and transportation, India offers a comfortable lifestyle without breaking the bank. Another thing I always say is hospitability. India is incredibly hospitable. From my own experience, people are warm and welcoming and always ready to help. This has helped my transition in living in a new country smoother. It can be neighbors inviting you for a meal or stranger offering assistance. The essence of community is strong and comforting. While India is welcoming, finding accommodation can be challenging for African students. Many of us end up staying in hostels provided by the universities, which are convenient and affordable. However, the process of getting apartment can be tough due to some several reasons. It can be language barrier and it can be different rental policies. 
it is important to connect with fellow African students or local friends who will guide you throughout the process in case you are looking for a suitable housing. One of the peaks of living in India is the cheap and fast internet. Compared to Africa where internet access can be expensive and unreliable, India offers a great advantage in this aspect. This has made it easier for me to stay connected with my family, even stay connected to you guys. The widespread availability of affordable data plan has enabled me to explore and enjoy various online platforms and enhancing my overall experience in India and worldwide. India is a country of incredible diversity and contrast. From the bustling streets of Mumbai to the serene backwaters of Kerala, every religion has its own unique charm and character. The people of India are known for their resilience, creativity and warmth. Despite the challenges of urban life, there is strong sense of community and a deep rooted culture of hospitality. The traditional values coexist with the modern aspiration, creating a dynamic and evolving society. The youth are particularly enthusiastic about embracing new ideas while preserving their cultural heritage. This blend of tradition and modernity is evident in every aspect of life, from fashion to food and technology to education. So in conclusion guys, I can say my time in India has been a wonderful journey filled with learning and growth. The affordability, quality education, advanced healthcare and warm hospitality has made my stay here memorable and I can say while I will be preparing to go back to my country I will carry along with me the valuable experiences and lessons I've learned here in India thank you for watching that short video from me don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so guys thank you for making us reach 7k subscribers continue supporting us by subscribing continue supporting us by liking our videos and it will encourage us to continue sharing with you guys our experiences here in India till next time guys bye